This video will help you assemble your SizeStream 3D body scanner. Unpack all the components from the crate. Refer to the assembly drawing and parts list in the manual to verify all the parts are present. You will need a few common tools. A drill with a number two and number three size Phillips screwdriver bits or a manual Phillips screwdriver, a 7 16 inch wrench or an adjustable wrench or a pair of pliers, a utility knife or pair of scissors, a step ladder, a standard computer power cable that is compatible with your local AC power outlet. Position the carpet where the scanner is to be placed. Orient the carpet so the footprints point to your left as you will enter the scanner. Using the quarter 20 by five inch pan head machine screws provided, attach the front sensor assembly to the lower right connector tube. Do not completely tighten the screws at this time. Using the quarter 20 by five inch pan head machine screws provided, attach the front sensor assembly to the lower left connector tube as shown on the assembly drawing. Do not completely tighten the screws at this time. Using the quarter 20 by five inch pan head machine screws provided, attach the back sensor assembly to the lower right connector tube as shown on the assembly drawing. Do not completely tighten the screws at this time. Using the quarter 20 by five inch pan head machine screws provided, attach the front and back sensor assemblies to the upper left connector tube as shown on the assembly drawing. Assembly tip. Do not install the screws in the top inside holes at each corner at this time to facilitate routing of the sensor cables through the frame to the computer. Once the sensor cables have been routed around the corner, the top inside screws can be installed. Do not completely tighten the screws at this time. Using the quarter 20 by five inch pan head machine screws provided, Attach the front and back sensor assemblies to the upper right connector tube as shown on the assembly drawing. Assembly tip. Do not install the screws in the top inside holes at each corner at this time to facilitate routing of the sensor cables through the frame to the computer. Once the sensor cables have been routed around the corner, the top inside screws can be installed. Do not completely tighten the screws at this time. Using the quarter 20 5 8 inch pan head machine screws and washer nuts provided, attach the handhold bars to the upper and lower connector arms as shown on the assembly drawing. Use two screws at the top and two at the bottom of each handhold bar to secure it to the frame posts. Tighten these screws now. Tighten all the scanner frame screws. Use care when tightening the screws at each frame corner to keep the frame square. The handhold slider bars are pre-attached to the handhold bars with the rubber bumpers. Remove the upper rubber bumper from each slider bar and slide the left and right handhold assemblies onto the slider bars with the handles facing in the scanner. Reinstall and tighten the rubber bumpers. Note. The handhold slider bars are attached at a nominal height so that the handhold travel will accommodate the greatest number of your clientele. The handhold assemblies can be repositioned to accommodate shorter or taller clientele as necessary. Note, the handholds should move freely on the slider rails. If necessary, wipe the rails with a soft cloth to remove any dirt or residue from the rails. Remove the monitor mounting back plate from the back of the monitor by removing the two small locking screws at the bottom of the plate. Remove the quarter 20 by 5 8 inch pan head machine screws and nylon locking nuts and use them to mount the back plate to the two center holes in the computer pan attached to the front sensor assembly in the scanner. Connect the monitor power cable, USB cable, and HDMI cable to the back of the monitor. This is a touchscreen monitor and does not require a keyboard or a mouse. Route the monitor cables through the oval opening in the computer pan and mount the monitor by sliding the bracket onto the mounting plate. Secure it to the mounting plate by reinserting the two small black screws in the bottom of the mounting plate. Remove the four quarter 20 by 5 8 inch pan head machine screws from the black panel nuts. Mount the computer to the pan. The monitor cables must be routed up and over the top of the computer. 
Remove the small screw at the top of the cover panel of the computer. Then slide the panel up to remove it from the computer. Route the speaker USB cable and the green speaker plug through the opening at the top of the computer as shown below. Check that there are no cables interfering with the CPU fan. Replace the computer cover and reinsert the small screw to secure the panel. Insert the green speaker plug in the green speaker port on the computer panel. Insert the speaker USB cable in one of the USB ports located on the computer panel. Insert the monitor USB cable to one of the USB ports on the computer panel. Insert the monitor HDMI connector in the HDMI port. Route the sensor USB cables from the front and back sensor assemblies through the top side rails to the computer. Connect the 20 USB cables to ports in the USB cards. Any cable can go in any port. Install the remaining top inside screws in the corner's upper connector bars and tighten all screws securely. Connect the AC power harness to the AC power cable connector located in the top rail. Connect AC power to the computer and the monitor from the power harness as shown below. Check the power switch next to the AC power plug. It should be in the on position. Insert the USB Wi-Fi adapter into one of the USB ports on the computer panel. Install the alignment plane storage studs in the two holes in the top frame over the computer. Hang the alignment plane on the studs when not in use. Locate the corner where the AC power cable is stored. Remove the plastic cover and extract the AC power cable and connect to AC power. Note 1. The AC power cable has a universal connector. Attach the standard computer AC power cable available in your specific location to the connector and then to your AC power source. Note 2. The computer and monitor will automatically adjust to the local AC voltage. A surge protector should be used to avoid equipment damage or failure due to electrical surges or other power anomalies which are not covered under our warranty. Using four 818 by half inch self-drilling screws provided, attach the scanner alignment bar to the top of the scanner frame as shown on the assembly drawing. Using four 818 by inch and a half self-drilling screws provided, attach the dressing room curtain track to the top of the scanner frame as shown on the assembly drawing. Attach the frame curtain with a hook and loop fastener tape to the perimeter of the scanner frame. Start at the left side of the door frame and move around the frame. Hang the dressing room curtain on the curtain carrier hooks. This completes the assembly of your SciStream 3D body scanner.